exactly 12 o'clock, so good afternoon. Now I'm going to have another coffee for the day. It is my third one. And even though I am doing carnival, I have to make a confession. I still drink almond milk. I can't help myself. This is the way I love my coffee. It's almond milk. I like oat milk for iced coffees or this and I also do like heavy cream in my coffee and tea I admit that we bought this new little machine not that I need another coffee machine because as you can see I have two machines there that are perfectly fine you know I have a Frankie which is the automated one and then I have this one with the grinder and this one is a little bit more work but the coffee is phenomenal so and then we bought this one the other day because you know guts I'm a coffee guts this one's easy and the other thing I had I gave an excuse as to why we need this coffee is because it's this simple this is how simple it is it's a switch on you just literally switch it on, flick that up, grab a, I do love the pods, I think they're fantastic, they're really convenient. People think they're more expensive, but when you think about it, that every time you have a coffee out, it's more expensive than buying a machine and a pod. You don't have to go for this machine, there are cheaper ones in this range. I actually just like this because it was very compact and um, I bought one for a gift for someone, so. I'm making a hot coffee, but let's just try it. I think that's a long one. That's a long one. Let's have a look. Red is generally decaf, but, 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 but. I think I might have one of these uh, international, these inspirational ones, which is Inspiraz Inspirazione Venezia. And I had to pick up the one that's got my name, Venezia. Thank you. It's Venetian Greek, it's Venetian Italian. So, let me just get my little frother. And this is so how easy this is. You just literally drop that in there, close. And then you literally choose, because I've got this great lighting, which one I'm gonna do. So I think I'm gonna do a cafe latte. Let's do the taste test. Now, that's that's hot, even for me. And I haven't tampered with the settings. I'm just going on the actual factory settings of this um, Nespresso, so. And I have my Moscow, Villaroy and Bosch cup. Bosch, 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 Bosch. I don't know how you pronounce it. All I know is, it's Moscow. Oh, that's nice. And it's hot enough. Now, if you don't like scalding hot coffee that, you know, shreds the skin off your gums or the roof of your mouth, then that's perfect. And you sip it slowly. If you want to scald your coffee, I would lower the temperature down. If you want hot coffee like my husband, I will scale the temperature up. So on the settings for, I'm just playing with it. I believe on the settings for short black ristretto and, oh shit. I tried to play with it. Um, anyway, so on the settings for short black and ristretto, I actually have, uh, so this is one thing I do do. I wanna show you what I do do when I want to clean the machine. So I'll just pop that in there because we've already dirty that. And then literally all I press is the water function. So I don't know if you can see that. I just press the water function. 
and all I do is let it run a little bit of water and just stop it. What that is for me is just to clean the machine because you know and the best part about this is this this is so easy. Look at that. The used pods. So this one is for the ones who know how to make coffee. If you know how to make a good if you know how to make a good coffee, this is brilliant. If you're lazy, this is it, but this has an extra attachment that you can use to put milk in. It doesn't froth. Why doesn't it froth? Because between that and the Nespresso, I've noticed, they do not froth almond milk very well. They don't froth oat milk very well. They froth cow's milk perfectly. But as you can see, for almond milk, which is what I'm using this for, it doesn't froth it. And I'm not saying that these aren't bad. Like I said, for people who drink regular milk or even soy milk froths really well, these are brilliant. And like I say, they're the lazy ones. And this is the lazy machine that I actually got because there are lazy chumps. I can't be bothered doing the machine, cleaning the grinds out, doing this, doing that. But coffee should be, if you're a coffee drinker, I love it as a ritual, but I also like the lazy and I'll go to the automated machines for lazy coffee. I got it, it's done, at least for the next couple of years, so cheers. Oh, see, I don't know about you, but I can tell you another thing is, is that why I love those two coffee machines, because they take beans. And I, I always believed, I'm just getting high on the, the fumes I'm getting out of this. Oh my God, this coffee. So I can tell you that as much as I love the convenience of pods and as much as like people hyper, uh, hyper ventilating because this is landfill. Now, if you're a lazy person, you don't recycle these. But if you're a diehard recycler, you take these back, I believe, to the Nespresso shops and they recycle them. I wish there was an easier way. I wish there was a service where you just chuck it in a bag and send it. It makes it harder for an espresso, an espresso client customer to take these pods back to a store. Cause some of the times you order this stuff online. So for you to go to a store and recycle, physically recycle, it is not that easy. So that's another thing. But one thing I really do think that after, cause I, you gotta remember, I've had Nespresso machines for 10 years. I've given them all, most of them all away. My mum's got them, friends have got them, the office has them. I've got these everywhere. However, in this house, in the last five years, this is the first Nespresso machine I've brought back in here. And I can say, it is the lazy way. But I have to say, I don't think, I mean, I don't think I can get past the beans. I love the beans. Beans for me are the bomb. And I think with Nespresso, you really have to try the entire range more than once to find which coffee you really like and that suits your taste buds. So I'm still yet to find the coffees because like I said, I haven't had this coffee in, in my house since my previous house, which was six, seven years ago. So in saying that, I'm still getting used to that taste. I love the convenience, I love doing the work, and I love the simplicity of the other one. So, coffee is such a personal thing. We all have completely different taste buds to coffee. What I like, you may not like. What you like, I might find really atrocious. So, at the end of the day, it's all a matter of taste. But, like I say, this is a really good little machine and it's so small, it's so com Oh, that was my ankle. It's so small, it is so compact, it's so easy to use. Like I say, this is so user friendly. Anyway, it makes a great coffee. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It just makes a fucking great coffee.